abuse by alcoholism. Over the centuries it is surprising how far we have come to dealing with domestic violent issues, years ago this was unpublishable unlike in our era today. Also many years ago parents could get away with buying alcohol with the money needed to feed their children, now that type of neglect gets punished by the child authorities taking the children away and place them in care. George and Sarah Parker were one of these sets of parents that like to do both, the violence between themselves due to pure drink was horrendous. They were a stereotypical family of the time, where George went out to work as a paper hanger and Sarah was a stay-at-home mother. George severely assaulted Sarah, as she found a new lover, a Walter Forrester. Now the suspicions are that Sarah decided to find someone new, due to the malicious intent of her husband George, that she had been married to for 11 years. This assault took place on Gainsborough's Market Street, where they lived at the time. It all started by George asking Sarah to get him some beer, so Sarah did what she was asked and went out and bought some beer. On the way home Sarah met a friend by the name of Ada Shorthouse. When they both entered Sarah's home, George grabbed a beer and took it upstairs. After George had finished his beer, he went downstairs to where Ada and Sarah were talking, that is when George said to Sarah, I will kill you bitch with Ada witnessing what George had said. George coaxed Sarah upstairs, leaving Ada downstairs. When an argument commenced between both Sarah and George, the argument frightened Ada as she could hear Sarah being beaten. Which caused Ada to quickly find a police officer to help Sarah out of the situation. When two police officers arrived at the Parker's home, they quickly grabbed hold of George to prevent him doing more harm to Sarah. George pled that he would behave, so the officers released their hold of George. As soon as the officers did so, he charged at Sarah and began kicking her once again. By this time Ada's sister Edith had arrived at the Parker's home, giving Sarah two witnesses to stand by her. Soon after George had been detained, Dr. Farah arrived to attend Sarah's bruises on her face where she had been kicked and punched by George. Sarah and Ada also admitted to the doctor that Sarah was also tipsy. When the police came back to the Parker's home to gather statements, Edith Shorthouse mentioned that a few days before this incident, Edith heard Sarah screaming out. So Edith went into their home and charged upstairs, to find George whipping Sarah. Edith also mentioned that Sarah asked her to stay that evening, to be protected from George. Dr. Farah respectfully stated, if the law did not intervene when they did George would probably have killed Sarah, and George would have also been a threat to anyone in the vicinity. Sarah was not so innocent either, with her alcohol addiction, Sarah was known to start assaulting George too. Although, on this day Sarah must have been at her weakest point, with the depression caused by the abuse and booze.